Well, I wish you'd look at it outside, snowing. What is that in that tree? A big old crow? Look at that. I want, I want to show you this real quick. The wind is blowing from the north, so you, every now and then you can see a huge, yeah, little snow blowing. All right. Well, I swam a thousand meters as fast as I could. Set up all-time personal best. So I'm fixing to see how long I can stay out here in this cold weather. She, look, she, she, she don't think I can do it very long. <laughs> you got your doubts about me, don't you? Okay. Yeah. Check on you every now and then. Check on me, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the big birds, they're like crows. All right, well, I'm gonna do this thing. I ain't saying how long I'm gonna stay out, but the girl in the concession stand said, well, don't you know your hair is gonna freeze? <laughs> I don't think my hair is gonna freeze. But it is like seven, eight degrees out there. And the wind's blowing 15 miles an hour out of the north. Well, let's see what we can do with it. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at it. it. The chair is full of ice. Oh, oh my God. It's like slippery. Oh, oh. Ah, I, I walked on the ice, now my feet's frozen. How am I gonna get the ice out of the chair? Ah, oh, I, I can do it like that. Ah, oh. oh. I'm already freezing. I gotta shut that door. Oh my God. People, I'm just turning the chair over and I'm freezing. I gotta get it where I can't slam my finger on it. Hang on. <clears throat> Son of a God, let me see. Oh, my feet are frozen. Hang on just a second. Let me try this. Right. Oh no, I gotta keep that on. I gotta keep that on. Oh no, ain't no way. Ah, uh, I thought I was gonna put my tape, my, my, my arm. <laughs> Can't even talk. My feet are frozen from walking in that ice. Okay, I thought I was gonna put my towel on the back of this chair, but I tried that and it was not gonna happen. I need this towel. Now, when it's 22 degrees, I don't need a towel. But when it's seven degrees, I'm sorry. I need a towel. Oh my God, it's cold. I feel like I'm cheating with the towel. All right, let me get my body, my mind and my body still for a minute. Oh my goodness, it feels good though. I think I scared off the crows when I flipped over the chair. I don't, I don't see them over there in the tree anymore. I'll show you what it looks like looking at that wind blow oh at least the wind ain't blowing from the south because when I'm sitting here I'm facing south oh. -wee. it is my feet are frozen just that walking on that ice and this cold deck to get the chair to flip the chair over was a lot. <sighs> I've got to get back to the house before the snow gets too thick on the road and I, I had to abandon my car. And I didn't bring me no good walking shoes, I just got tennis shoes on. <sighs> All right. Ain't this world a mess? Everybody loves the world. 
or do they? It looks like we got some dark entities that have decided to run amok with uh, the truth about what's happening in the world. And it's got me complexed. But just for all those people that, you know, don't really know me but know what I post about, or see what I post, or see my videos, or the people that we were connected to in what we call the Truther Movement that started way back in 2008, 9, and 10 has been corru corrupted and uh, it's full of paid agents to diso disinformation amongst the spiritually awakened people. They got it even like it's not a good thing to be spiritual anymore. Damn sure ain't a good thing to be addicted to politics. I paid attention to this this election uh, more so than I paid attention to any election since I was 18 and I made a conscious decision not that I was consciously awake but I made a conscious decision that I was never going to vote and I lived up to that never never have legally voted in a legal election I did vote when Ron Paul was running and um, went into the polling booth office and got my paper and filled it out and I wrote in big bold letters right across the top of it, 9-11 was an inside job. Well, you know that disqualified that vote <laughs> for Ron Paul, but I knew they were going to steal it for Ron Paul then. And the next election, we're not going to have a true say-so. If you think government's going to come and be like the white hats and protect us, we're all being deceived on a great level. Government does not have our best interest at heart. Government doesn't care if we get a cold or a flu or coronavirus. How could they fix sick when they are sick? You can't fix sick if you're sick. But if you stay healthy, nothing that the government can do can touch you. And especially if you wake up into the resurrected power of the I Am Christ consciousness that lives on the inside of each and every man and start loving and not judging yourself or anyone or anything and do harm to no thing or no one. We can't move into a state of peace until we come to peace with how the dark side is running things. It's always been that way and it looks like it's going to always be that way. There's no end to the insanity of what they're putting the puppets through. Now the puppets are the ones you see on TV playing these games. All that was was a, a show about impeachment. Like a, a play with actors acting out roles to just divide us and steer us down a path of never having unity. But that's what the Christ Conscious Awakening is all about. Do you know you can't even use the hashtag The Great Awakening or hashtag The Awakening or hashtag Great Awakening? No, it's been banned. How in the hell can you ban something that is going to change the world when everybody speaks and walks in the love of who they are and understanding with these great downloads of wisdom that come to us from hearing our heart and our soul and our spirit talking to us, literally guiding us. The awakening happens when you want it to happen within your being. Sometimes, like me, I didn't even know what it was before I had it. How, how could I have been so blind? But I was. I was literally blind to what peace was and how to have my being in the now. 
I'm in the now, right now, in seven, eight degree weather, freezing, because I love you. <laughs> and I want to tell you something about awakening. But my toes, I'm starting to focus on my toes and they're like frozen. Wait a minute, is this how frostbite sets in? <laughs> yeah, look at my feet. Ooh, wee, look at my toes. No, I ain't gonna stay out here long enough to get frostbite, so don't y'all panic or worry about that. I'm just gonna push the limit a little bit on how long I wanna be out here talking to you about these mysteries, mysteries of the world. So what was I before I woke up? I was whatever the TV told me I was. I was whatever the counterculture or the culture told me that I was. I was what my mom and daddy told me I was. I was what the preacher told me I was. Just before he molested me. <laughs> so I didn't know. I, I did not have a clue who I really was and what was really going on until August the 17th, 2003. And I was gonna want to tell you in a loving way that I reached the end of me. I don't wanna use the word, well, shit, might as well use it. I made a cry for help, a suicide attempt. But I called out on the name of God with the not understanding what God was or what Yahshua ben Joseph was. Jesus, you may know him as Jay. I know him as Jay. But I called out on my mother, Father God, without even understanding what I was saying. I said, I need some help. I'm at the end of my rope. I want to die. And I was given life and abundantly love and peace and prosperity. And over a short period of time, I was downloaded with the wisdom keys of universal knowledge. Don't make me special by saying that and don't means I can tell you anything that I really know. All I can tell you is what works in my life and what doesn't work in my life. I know if I can stumble across the Great Awakening, you can too. If you're in dire straits about finances and about love and religion and politics, Ask Father, Mother God to reveal it to you in the way you need to know it. And for God's sakes, if you're contemplating suicide, before you do do your due diligence to do that, give love a chance. Give peace a chance. Your mind needs peace and stillness. That's what I was given the very night that I cried out that I wanted to take my life. It must have been the best night's sleep I ever had in my life, but from four o'clock that morning to four o'clock that evening, from the time I shouted out, I slept. Not knowing how deeply of a sleep I was for quite a while, maybe six months into my awakening, I realized that I had been taken out of body and shown kind of like a life review, kind of like um, things to come, but I couldn't remember it for a long, long time how good the downloads were. So over that first three month period, I had these episodes of being taken out of my body and going to a council of light beings around the table telling me the secrets of the universe and always laughing when they was going to put me back in my body. He won't remember nothing, <laughs> but he'll walk into it and he'll get the knowing down deep in his soul and his spirit and his being and his heart. And boy, they were right. Life is beautiful, 
wonderful. And I was saying that when I was eating peanut butter and crackers and was totally bankrupt. Uh, a lot of people didn't even understand how broke I was, but I was happy. Praise God, I was happy. I started understanding what life is, and I started detaching from everything that I thought I had to have to survive in life. And I realized that, man, all I need right now is this towel. <laughs> And this, and this camera. <laughs> uh, I need this, I need this, um, what do you call this thing I'm sitting on? <laughs> I'm getting tickled now. I'd be sitting on this cold ass damn deck. I wouldn't be able to stay out here that long if I was just on this naked ass deck with no towel. <laughs> and this hat on my head, this hat on my head saving uh, the warmth in my brain problem. <laughs> Oh, people, people, people. Now is the only time there ever is. It's snowing right now. Tomorrow can either be heaven or hell. But if you live in the now for this day, this day only, and when you lay this day down with your night's sleep, you do it knowing and speaking with the I am Christ consciousness of well-being and healing energy and restful sleep in your body, your atoms, your DNA. You will wake up revitalized every morning knowing that it's now again. It's not tomorrow. It never will be tomorrow. And those yesterdays, they never even really happened. I don't want to go too deep on that because the wind is blowing sideways for some reason. <laughs> Ooh, How long have, I've been out here over 14 minutes from the time I started the camera. I'm going to wrap this up in a loving way and try to tell you something that I really don't understand or don't know but there is no past and there is no future there's only this eternal moment of now and it means something when you speak it in the resurrected power of the I am if Jesus came to show us something he came to show us that you can't depend on government to change the way they're doing things to make you have comfort. If you want comfort in love and life, you have got to change the only thing that you can change and the only thing that the government can't take away from you, and that's your thoughts. Think about it, people. That is the only thing that we could ever change is our thoughts the way we think and the awakening the great awakening that has been prophesied it happens when you're ready for it if you're not ready for it you will go through this world in confusion and darkness of who's got your power they must have my power because I'm weak It ain't true. You've got your thoughts. And with your thoughts, you can rebuild everything. You can rebuild your life. You can rebuild your body. You can rebuild your finances. Or at least the way you think about finances. I'm still struggling with poverty mentality and poverty consciousness. But it's just the way we think that can't be touched by government, can't be touched by this world's evil darkness. If you dwell in darkness, you're going to suffer and reap what you sow. But when you move your mind into a higher consciousness and you park it in the love of what Christ is, or the Christo, 
energy of a resurrected power that arises inside of you. That is the resurrection. That is the life. And the light of the world is within that knowledge of knowing that you are blessed and you have much, much favor. You can do anything. Go anywhere, be anything, have, do. But you'll be comfortable in just knowing that you're in control of your thoughts, not the TV. Nobody's telling you what to be. Nobody's telling you who you are. I know I'm not a body. I know I'm not Buddy Huggins. I know I'm eternal, light body being, inhabiting a physical form, able to do great things, able to do boring things and love it, able to dream while I'm still awake. That's the best kind of dreaming there is. That's how you heal your mind, your body, your soul. You do it by seeing yourself six months in the future. By taking the steps each and every day to manifest the reality that you see and you want to be. But your thoughts have to align with your heart. And the universe will bless you tremendously. I hope that makes sense in a way because I've said it in other videos and talked about it but it makes it more real for me when I do this and so I'm needing a little booster so that's why I'm, I'm kind of going back through it. My body is cooperating at a faster and pay, faster and faster pace as far as the healing goes within my, my cells, my atoms, and my physical body as the joints, muscles, tendons, ligaments are growing stronger and stronger on a daily basis as I work out doing CrossFit, as I run on a treadmill, and when spring gets here, I'll ride my bike. I just swam um, 1,000 meters and um, 100, meter sets fast as I could go set an all-time personal best not bragging or boasting I'm just saying our bodies are divine if we treat ourselves like trash we're gonna get trash back but if we love ourselves and heal ourselves and not wait on government to heal us or feed us or clothe us we'll have peace in our life oh we I'm moving my feet and I'm just realizing how cold it is I've been out here 20 minutes people I could stay out here probably especially if I had a pair of socks on <laughs> if I if I had a pair of socks and shoes on I probably could stay out here 30 minutes 30, 40 minutes I don't know I can I ain't even stopped to meditate except to talk to you people. And that is the meditation. Maybe that's the greatest lesson I can teach you today. Or teach myself, let's say that. Through your perception of who you are and who I am. Meditating is having a focused attention on your breath. And when I'm talking, that is a meditation. When I'm swimming, that is a meditation. When I'm riding the bike, that's a meditation. To be in a state of meditation like that, you have to be in the now. Your mind cannot be wandering around in the future and in the past. So I'm gonna leave that with you because I'm freezing. I gotta get my hand right. Oh, my fingers. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to cut it off here, people. I love you. Thank you for watching my channel. Never give up. Never give in. Be the love that you wish to see in the world. And the world will heal itself. One person at a time. 
Bye.